it's not that simple. So if I'm doing an X step and I get to this position, I have 100% of the weight on the back leg right now. But now I have to balance and drift. That means my weight continues to go that way. But because I'm balancing and I'm coiling, it feels like it's still here to some degree. Like it just feels like this loaded pressure here. And then you get to this position and you could say there's 30% weight there, 70% weight here. I don't have a scale to tell you where the pressure is and this movement happens so fast. But the way it feels to me is when I get to that loaded position, lot of brace and pressure here, but also some brace and pressure there. But I really only feel it in the foot. That's why it is similar to coming into a sports move, but this time you're coiled coming into it. When you coil like that, you can feel pressure on both ends. You're using both legs. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. The simple way to put it, just taking out the weight transfer aspect is you either rotate and brace or brace and rotate. And so you're coiled, uncoiling to there, the rotation's done and I got braced. And then I end up with all my weight against that brace. It still doesn't feel like it's on top of it ever, but leg comes off and the brace is keeping me keeping all my body weight from falling over. Let's say just for random, just, just a random fake number. Okay, Paul Macbeth comes into it, he's right here. Magic position, and or fully extended position, and there's 70% of the weight here and 30% of the weight right there. And with each rotation, it goes up. I know you guys have heard me say this before, but let's say it's, if it's only 30%, all right, now it's 40% and it goes to there. Now it's 50% because my weight's not going this way. I mean, it is because of the momentum, but I'm rotating it with every frame. And that's why if you really look at who we're talking about, you see the body go like this. And then when you come into that, you see nothing but rotational frames like that. And if you look at not that, there's always this set of frames, very specific set of frames, where it goes down like that and there is no rotation. So the weight's going, moving down, but you know what I'm saying? I'm sure a lot of, I pointed out a lot of in your forms. Um, and that's the weight going on top of it, down this way that heel drops naturally and it absorbs your weight from here all the way up to here. So really you're using both legs. So if you keep all the weight on the back, you're just gonna dip the toe in the water. That's, that's not what it is. And if we wanna talk about the balance and drift, which is, I think the balance and drift is what you, the feeling that we're looking for, because getting this weight here and going like that, you can feel that pretty easily but the balance and drift is all about gaining leverage with your weight. So if I'm here and I go like that, oh, that's not good. But if I can slow my weight down and now I'm going like this, I'm like getting ready to explode right off that leg. It's kind of like pitching. You don't see a pitcher go, you know what I mean? You see this like, uh, you see this delay where it's, and that delay allows your body weight to get going and for you to get leverage on that back leg to push in and really boom. And that's why the balance and drift is so important and why it's so important to use both legs and to not go 100% weight on either side. Bop, bop.